Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Danger Den DD29 XT VGA water block. Included is a quick installation guide, all the materials needed for installation, two tubes of thermal compound, thermal tape, and the Danger Den DD29 XT VGA water block. Many might be wondering why spend money on a video card with a great cooler just to rip it off and install a very expensive VGA water block. Well, if you're familiar with water cooling, you probably already know the answer to that. The fact is, a great VGA water block, like this one, will cool the graphics processing unit and memory substantially better than any VGA cooler on the market. The other reason is noise related. The Radeon 2900 XT and 2900 Pro video cards can be extremely loud when under maximum load, but having a VGA water block installed means it would be completely silent, so it's a perfect option for a home theater PC setup or a silent PC build. This VGA water block is pure copper. There is no aluminum used in this product whatsoever. Mixing aluminum and copper is really a no-no because it can result in galvanic corrosion. Thankfully, that's not a concern with this block. Just remember when using this block not to have another aluminum water block in the same loop. This product comes with the front and back attached. Once removed, it reveals the smooth areas on the front and back part of the water block for both the GPU and the memory. Remember, many VGA water blocks on the market only come in contact with the GPU and not the memory, which isn't a complete VGA water block cooling solution like this product is. It has an acrylic top which enables a clear view of the high flow design on the inside. Note that this product is only compatible with the HD2900 XT and the HD2900 Pro video cards, but the fittings can be changed depending upon the tube size. The fittings can also be mounted on either side, which is very convenient for some water cooling setups. Also note that this water block will work in a crossfire setup. I'll be showing how to install this water block on the Sapphire HD 2900 XT video card. Remember to be grounded before starting this procedure. First, carefully take off the existing cooler and remove the thermal compound on the GPU and memory. Now apply new thermal compound to the GPU and memory and install the thermal tape. Next, install the fitting gaskets on the copper ram sink heat bridge. Place the water block assembly on and attach the ram sink bridge using the included O-rings, washers, and screws. Once installed, you'll have a very cool looking, totally silent VGA cooling solution. Now let's have a look at the results. If you're in the market for a 2900 XT or a 2900 Pro VGA water block, I would really look no further than this particular product. It is exceptionally well crafted and performs extremely well. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. product whatsoever. Mixing aluminum cotter, the cotter, who, uh, what am I saying, what am I saying?
can be changed. The fittings can be mounted also either on either on the either on the either on either on either side either either either. Fior 2900 Pro. Boy, boy, ha ha. If you're in the market for a water block to fit, blah. If you're looking for a VG water block, VG, 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 V